All right, we all want our first days of kindergarten and our whole year of kindergarten to be such a great experience for these boys and girls. We want them to learn to love school and that's where this starts. In order for us to do that, there has to be some rules. It's just your normal rules. It's the following directions, listening carefully, being honest, kind to others, keeping those hands and feet to yourselves. It all boils down to treating others the way that you want to be treated and that's what we try to teach these boys and girls in our classes. There's always going to be times that they're going to misbehave. I'm going to explain our, um, for the most part, our uh, discipline procedures and the things that we do. Um, in, our, in each classroom, there's a, a green, a green, a yellow, and a red. Kind of looks like a stop sight, stop light, but with two greens. Because everybody makes mistakes, and we know these five and six year olds, they make mistakes too. So everybody starts out on the top green. If your child is misbehaving and misbehaving, we're gonna say, okay, Johnny, you need to go move your clip down to the second green. You won't know anything about that. That's a warning to them that, you know, okay, they've been warned, they need to think about their behavior. We'll talk to them about the behavior and the best way for them to change their behavior to make better choices. When they continue misbehaving and they have to move their clip down to a yellow and then to a red, you will know about this again in the folder that it, we were telling you about has, these are so important because there's always important information in here and that includes how your child's day has gone. And inside your folder, this is just one of mine, mine may pencil, somebody else may have a different shape or something like that. But inside your folder, it will either be in a pocket here or it could be, um, you know, one class may keep theirs inside here, slid inside here. But they'll have a green that means hey we've had a great day your child has had a great day we've learned a lot things like that if you open it up and you see that there's a yellow inside here or a yellow crayon inside here that means something has happened and you might want to talk to your child and see what's going on but not only that in the back of the folder remember the flag that they talked about well, that's gonna be where we're gonna put, we'll date it, and we'll try our best to give you as much information as to what happened with your child to cause them to get the yellow or even the red. So we'll give that information there, and then usually we'll ask that you'll either initial it or sign it or something to know that you have seen it. And that way, every day, you can know exactly what kind of day your child had. You don't have to wait till six weeks down the road and say, oh, he was having trouble with this. You'll know every day how your child was behaving and what they were having trouble with. Which I'm sure everybody's gonna have greens, right? We're all gonna have a great year. Um, if your child does come home with a yellow, they're gonna have some consequences at school too. If they have a yellow, they're gonna have a timeout at recess and they're not gonna just be sitting. We feel like they need to be moving. And so we'll, they'll be walking you know for a few minutes or walking five laps around a small area something like that if it's a red then it's going to be more like 10 or 15 minutes it just depends on you know what the child what the problem was during the day and so those are going to be the consequences here at school um let's see i really like this quote um and I really don't know where it came from, but it says to treat a child fairly is to meet their needs, not to treat each child the same. And that's something that we try to strive here at Peaster to do. We want to be fair, but we want to treat, if that doesn't mean treating them the same, that means fulfilling the needs of that child. Um, seems like there was something else. I think we've covered everything. If you have any questions, please feel free, you can email us or you can bring your questions with you at Meet the Teacher or any other time. And we'll see, see you at Meet the, the Teacher. teacher.